Hey guys, welcome to RPA Feed. In today's session, we'll be looking at how we can integrate ChatGPT with Power Automate Desktop. So I have created this flow. I have named it as Chatbot in Power Automate Desktop. And now I'll be demonstrating uh, or I'll be building this flow. How we, uh, along with me, you can also build and we will be connecting with ChatGPT. For that, what you need is you need to go to this beta beta.openai.com account slash API keys and you need to generate your API keys uh, like this uh, interface you'll see and you can click here create new secret and your new secret key will be generated I'll, I'll paste all these uh, uh, URLs in the description no need to worry about it then we'll be hitting this API endpoint uh, with all these uh, details and will get the response. So let's start building it. What we'll do is we'll expect uh, input from a user. So for that we can use uh, input dialog box action. So let me drag and drop the input dialog box over here and let me um, write some title for this input dialog and here we can write message as uh, please enter your query okay please enter your query and we'll leave this as it is you can probably keep it as multi-line if your query is uh, large enough and the variable where we will be storing is we'll keep it as default user input and save it so this is how we'll get the uh, input from the user then once the uh, so input dialog box will have ok and cancel button so once the user press ok button we need to invoke our um, API right for that let me uh, write here as one if condition so if uh, my button press event is not equal to cancel save it here and within this block we can uh, write our invoke web service command or action so invoke web service once you invoke your web service you'll need the url and url will use this completions url and we'll use we'll, we will be using the post method over here right so from this drop down we can select post method in accept we'll keep uh, application json in content type we can keep it application json in accept also we can keep application json okay and custom headers so in header we need to pass the authentication token so for authorization so we can write authorization and our token bearer and here you need to enter your API key like I'm just entering this text here but uh, in actual you need to um, enter here your API key that you have generated by visiting this link okay you have to enter your API key here okay I'll be entering it I'll I will not share it with uh, on this video but I'll enter my API key my generated API key on later on okay and then uh, in the request body in request body we have this formatted JSON we'll, we'll enter this so what does this uh, means uh, which model you we are, will be using we are specifying few parameters that we'll be using to query and get the response so here we are using text hyphen Darwin C hyphen 003 model uh, there are many different models if you go to the chat GPT uh, website you will find uh, different types of model that you can use and here we are using the prompt uh, for prompt we are using the user input that we will be getting from the user so whatever question or query user will ask we are just um, getting that in this variable and passing it to the prompt uh, key then max token max token is like uh, the number of words you get in response so if you uh, want to get the response uh, of your large like if your response is a large text then you need to you might need to increase these tokens like 2000 or 1500 words currently let's keep it short 
and then similarly uh, like there are other other parameters for which you can play around so that's how uh, we have we are done with our uh, part for configuring or uh, for configuring the web service and we can invoke it so the variables the output will be stored in our web service response okay so let me save this here and now we have to like we are getting we'll be getting a json uh, object as a response so let me convert that json for converting that json we need convert json object to custom object okay so let me drag it over here we'll be converting the json object and our json object will be coming in web service response okay and we'll let let's use this default variable json as custom object only so uh, over this step our uh, json object is converted to a custom uh, json uh, custom object let let me display now so we'll use a message box to display display message over here in this display message box uh, you can write here um, a response from maybe chat gpt or simply you can use response whatever you like uh, this is just a title of your message box and here i uh, will write your query so whatever your query was that we have captured in uh, inside user input and then uh, response from chat gpt okay so the variable that we have or we can directly use it from here if you want so json as custom object and then uh, our json object will have the data like this choices and choices of zero dot txt i'll show you the json okay let me save this okay now so uh, i'll add one message box here mm -hmm. so once we uh, just want to see i want to show you guys like what we are getting as a response from this uh, api okay so let me just display add this display message over here and in i'll keep the title as it is or maybe i can type a response from api and the message to display would be web service response okay save it this is just to see the response and why i have written this json as custom object choices of zero dot text yeah okay let's run this now we have to insert whatever the query is let's ask uh, what is the capital of india let's say a, a basic one okay and we are getting error in the response why so let's try to understand why we are getting this error okay yeah so we are getting this error because in invoke while invoking web service there is one section here called advanced section where we need to disable this encode request body we need to disable this and in connection timeout we can increase the timeout time uh, uh, for here uh, let's be it default value it doesn't matter but you need to make sure you disable uh, uh, this encode request body let's save this and run this again this time we'll ask something else uh, how to learn rpa effectively okay let's ask this question okay web service is invoked now and the response we got is something like this in the json that we got here so i was showing you right uh, this is the json object and inside choices we have this text and this text contains the entire response that we are interested in so that's where we are getting the response from this json object 
so clicking in here okay and that's what how you got the response so your query was how to learn rp effectively and this is the response from chat gpt so starts with a uh, basic take online course practice join a community attend conference read books and there were if there was more text uh, we have uh, like you have to include the entire data in the response we have to increase the size of our token that you can play around with so let's try to run this uh, once more i will ask what is the career scope in rp let's ask this and let's see what chat gpt responds with so this is jason body and this is our response the career scope in rp is very promising with increased demand of blah 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 so whatever the text that we got it and this is displayed over here so this is how you can integrate chat gpt with power automate desktop and you can play around it um, there are different apis that you can explore by visiting this link that i'll be sharing you and have fun please comment your thoughts uh, uh, about this video how you find it if you find it useful please share it with your friends like give a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks for watching